In this lesson, we'll learn how to add color and flush out the eyes of our character. All right, fantastic. So this is kind of where we ended up in the previous lesson. Now, uh, in between lessons, I sketched on the eyes just a little bit. I wanted to give her a little bit of a pupil here so that she's actually looking at us. Now, we're not going to come in with our dark color first, though. Remember, we're actually working light to dark, so we're not going to drop that black in there. If we drop that black in there and try and add blue or green or whatever color we decide on her eyes uh, being after the fact, then we run the risk of actually smearing the black or, you know, coming in here and... It, it's just a lot more difficult to do it that way. So let's come in here, hide our shadows and highlights. I'm going to come back in on my skin layer here. And uh, let's go ahead and grab, we'll grab this one. Then I'm going to quickly switch to my eraser and then hit the S key so I can swap back and forth between those two. And let's come over and grab a color to start with. I'm going to come over here and let's go ahead and think about starting with kind of a Oh, let's go with something kind of on this particular tab. Uh, maybe we could start in here with something like that. Let's kind of get an idea how that's going to look. Turn off my colorless blender. And I'll just come in here. And we may want to turn our highlight uh, back on, highlights and shadows layer back on, just so we can kind of see where that pupil is and use that as a point of reference. Now another thing we may want to do, if I go ahead and hide that layer, is swap over to our eraser and just come in and clean up any of these flesh tones that uh, have crept into the eye sockets here. This is kind of what I've been doing in between lessons, just sort of cleaning up the edges a little bit, just kind of running that eraser right through there. All right, fantastic. So uh, we might as well start that eye over. Let me just clear that little bit of marker out of there. And we'll come back in here, hit the S key again to swap. And I'm going to come in and just kind of go a little bit bigger than the pupil on this eye. Now the shape at the bottom of the eye is meant to be a highlight, so uh, I'm going to actually erase that out. But um, we'll come in here. Let's go ahead and hide that for right now. Maybe come in and do the other eye. So I want the eye where it's closest to the pupil to be kind of this brighter color. So uh, if we were to do that right there, we could come in here and start to kind of work in some other colors around that. Sort of like so. And start to slowly work our way towards more of a blue. Maybe kind of work our way back in here with some greens. And eventually we're going to hopefully end up over here in the blues. Um, let's actually come in here now with some blue. There we go. Maybe something like that. See what that looks like kind of out near the perimeter. Again, I want to bring in my colorless blender and let it do some work kind of blending these colors together for me. And let's come in here with a little bit more of a, a brighter color. Get that colorless blender turned off. All right, fantastic. That's starting to look pretty good. Might come in here. Hit this area right here just a little bit. We are, after all, going to be going over that with sort of a black. So uh, we'll come in here, just do a little bit more in the terms of the blending. And we could even come in here and add even some darker blues if we really wanted to. Maybe something like that. Now we do want to be really careful we don't get over into her flesh tones. Remember, we are working on the same layer. So uh, be very mindful of that. We do have a little bit of line work we can lean on, but uh, be very careful. Want these eyes to feel very spherical. And if we bring that back in, looks like we may have over blended that just a bit. I'm gonna undo back a few times. There we go. That should work. 
All right, fantastic. So um, now that we've got that eye colored, I'm going to come in with a black at this point. Now, if you're looking for a black marker, those are going to be over here, uh, sort of, there's really two different tabs this could be on. We could be here under the warm grays. There's this down here, this special black. You can see if I select that. Uh, turn off my colorless blender there. There we go, special black. And then we've also got over here, if you mouse over these, we've got some neutral grays. So uh, this one down here has a special black as well. So um, I'm actually going to go with maybe this warm, uh, warmer palette here. And let's come in here. Let's go ahead and grab one of our inking Copic markers here. Maybe we can go with uh, the multi-liner. Let's go with this one for right now. This may take a little bit of time, so I may actually switch over to this brush right here, which is my felt pin pressure, and that's going to do that quite a bit quicker. Now, if you're having problems drawing that perfect curve, feel free to switch to steady stroke. And again, steady stroke is just simply allows you to draw a really steady stroke. So uh, I can come in here and I can come in and just knock out that eye, maybe sort of like that. Pick it back up over here. Be really careful I don't get into the flesh tones. Let me switch back out of steady stroke mode and go just fill it in here. All right, great. Now, it looks like we did kind of cover up that little highlight right there, so I may come in and actually fix that with my eraser. Let me just switch back over to my eraser. And I am going to cheat a little bit. We're just going to come in and sort of erase that little dot right back out. So now we've got her eye in place, and we could come in and we could also clean up this highlight that I mentioned before. So come in here and just sort of run a couple sweeps of the eraser through there. Let's go ahead and turn that off, and there we go. We've got her first eye completed. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of a tangent here. That highlight is almost touching uh, the pupil, so I, we could always come in and maybe correct that in between lessons. But let's go ahead and uh, get a little bit of marker over here onto the other portion. So switch back over here to that, and I believe, yep, there I'm still on my eraser, so... We'll come back in here and just start working in some greens here. Get an idea of where that is. Let's shrink that down a little bit with my bracket keys. And this one eye isn't going to need a whole lot of green. So I believe a tin is about the smallest we can go with this brush. So we may need to come back over here and use the uh, super brush nib. Yeah, let's get a little bit more blue in there. Now keeping in mind this is sort of in the, uh, the shadowed area, so this is probably going to be a little darker in this area over here. So uh, I might come down here and grab an even deeper blue. Something like that. And let's go ahead and get that blended together really quickly. We'll just come in with our colorless blender. Run it over that here. Just like so. And let me go ahead and jump to my eraser. Gotta clean up that highlight just a little bit. And unfortunately, that's something we couldn't do if we were working on a marker paper. But again, we're working digitally, so we do have that option. Uh, I'm going to come over here and grab my felt pen pressure. Now, when you're working uh, with markers, actually uh, traditional markers on paper, um, something that's fairly common is to use them with um, sorts of inking, um, uh, all sorts of different inking or other wet media. So when I say wet, wet media in terms of inks, I mean like whether it be a paintbrush and an India ink, whether it be some kind of a technical pen, uh, whatever the case is, that's actually a pretty common usage. So let's come in here and so switch to our black. And we'll 
we'll just come in and draw in that pupil. I want to do that one more time. There we go. Something sort of like that looks pretty good. Switch back over to my free draw. And we'll just come in and ink that in. All right, fantastic. I may actually come in and, and sort of straighten up these ellipses just a little bit in between lessons. But uh, let me go ahead and just turn that off. Go ahead and switch back to my eraser. Bring my little dot back. I do want to make sure that I do that in free draw mode here. There we go. All right, fantastic. So now our character has eyes. And if we were to zoom out on the character and kind of look at that, obviously it's going to look a little bit strange. She's got eyes, she's got color, uh, but you know, in looking at that, nothing else has color. So really it's hard to make value decisions with just her face colored here. So, uh, but because we're working on the skin layer, let's go ahead and switch gears and we'll go ahead and jump down her body and kind of focus on some of the other areas where we need skin tones. So um, let's go ahead and in the next lesson, start working on her legs.